Well, there's no power in here, guys. But there is a palace jailer, and that guy's pretty powerful. Palace jailer's confusing because they're like, all right, I'll kill the palace jailer. And not only do they not get their creature back, but you still get to be the monarch. I'm going to take palace jailer. I'm going to hope that Vindicate or Orzov Signet comes back. Because the... Hmm, that's something right there. <laughs> Sometimes you don't need to open the power. It just gets passed to you. Hold on one second. Totally, totally reasonable. I mean, I guess there was a soul ring in the first pack. That would be my only, my only guess. Uh, you know, who knows? Who knows? Um, watery grave, riftwing cloud skate. These are things I like. I guess I feel like a Riftwing Clouds game might be better. I don't know what we're what we're doing here, but I'll take a cloudy boy. <sighs> One cloudy boy. And then you could pack like this where you're like, well, this doesn't do anything. I kinda like painful truths. <laughs> three cards for three mana. I mean presuming that we're three colors, then we can have cast it, but that doesn't seem like that's that'd be a problem. There's actually a good amount of, of fixing in this cube. So could also just take Cold Steel Heart or Duplicant, which are more boring picks. I'm going to take the Painful Truths. We don't know what's happening here. So, Oh, Karn Liberated, though. Like, Necrobones being in the cube is cute, but I'm never going to take, like... I mean, I'm never going to take this over, like, Karn, Duretti, Scarab God, etc. And I think with the Lotus, we're just taking Karn here. So that's that's just where we're at in life. I like an Ojitai. I also like a Flooded Strand and a Swords. And with a Karn, I like a Thran Dynamo. They probably saw a Thousand Year Storm in the first pack. Yeah, that's probably that's probably it. They're probably doing a, a Kerwitz stipulation. <sighs> Dragon Lord Ojitai, also very good. And we got a blue black land here. I mean we do definitely take Flooded Strand over that. <sighs> I think it's Dragon Lord Ojitai. I kind of like Ojitai here. Do I like it more than Flooded Strand? No, I gotta take a Flooded Strand. Don't be stupid. Don't be a dummy. I'm just taking Ugin. I think Ugin is great. I'm really a fan of this particular Ugin. Oh, Celestial Colonnade? Over Coercive Portal. And again, we could just be blue-white. I want to take Colonnade here. I think our card advantage is going to be probably fine. I never winked back at Fireflies. Oh, wow. Vindicate and Orzhov Signet come back. So that's cool. I think it's Vindicate. There are enough Signets and Talismans in the cube that I can see it again, but Vindicate is just such a such a solid removal spell. And I did take the Flooded Strand thinking that Ojitai might come back. Someone has to be specifically blue-white. And he's not terribly exciting if you are. I mean, I think he is. But I don't think a lot of people would think so. I'm going to take Thought Knots here. Maybe. I mean, this guy did make me help me top eight a pro tour. I'm gonna take the thought knots here, just for the, just for the memories. Huh. Unfortunately, Tezzeret's Ethereum cells cannot cast Eldrazi. Eh. 
I mean, it's it's the only card in here that I actually care about. Thought Knots approves. Nice. Uh, I'll take Showdown. Armageddon? Dang it. Okay, none of the cards I wanted came back. Okay. Last pick Tendrils. You got it. Time Vault and Treachery and an on color talisman. Huh. Interesting. I don't think it's Time Vault. I don't think we have anything to go with it yet. I think we're just taking Treachery here. I do love a good treachery. Glacial Fortress and Creeping Tar Pit. That's pretty good. Also, Library. I don't like Library in three-color decks. I'm a bigger fan of Library when we're just playing two colors. I'm going to take Tar Pit here. I think it's a better land. That's a that's like third pick Grim Monolith. Sure, I'll take a Grim Monolith. I mean, especially with six, like two six, a six and seven drop colorless card. Like, that's just fantastic scrubland is also fantastic in a pack that's very much not fantastic this also lets flooded strand get all three of our colors which is pretty sweet <sighs> mind's desire now we can have mind's desire and tender of agony <laughs> i was like uh where is it wait for it i want to put deseret in here None of these cards are great. I think Gideon's actually fine. It makes two twos. Sure. Oh, look. A blue red land and a blue red land. I do like a Golos. I'll take a Golos. Oh, black red land. Well, considering we now have Tezzeret, Gideon, Ugin, and Karn, I don't think Immortal Sun is where we want to be. I don't... Ah, uh, Solemn Simulacrum seems great. Let's take a Solemn Simulacrum. Got that crack, Lotus. It's, it's not appropriate. This is a family stream. I love Omnath, but we can't cast it. It's a late Sacred Foundry, which we can also get with Flooded Strand. If we want to like play Burgi or Showdown of the Scalds. I don't think we're Echo of Eonzing, but maybe we are if we get... You know what? I'll take Echo. I, I think it's a high upside if we happen to get a... What do you call it? What's the name of that card? Hull Breacher. Angel's good. Also a Basalt Monolith. Yet another card that lets us cast Thought Knots here. Cur me? Am I the one crushing it? I don't know about all that. I'm going to take Oblivion Ring. Look at this. Two, two, two similar effects. Aleshnorn's good, but I think Oblivion Ring's fine. Take Yavamai Coast. Because now we can actually play Yavamaya Coast and um, do we not take the Sacred Foundry? Are we dum-dums? Man, we didn't take the Sacred Foundry. Took the Echoes. Well, Kerwin, I can only hope, buddy. Oh, Savannah, though. Savannah's a nice pickup because it lets us play. We can play the Savannah. Um, get it with Flooded Strand or get it with Golos. In order to activate Golos. Let's take a Mind's Desire. Now we got Tendrils and Mind's Desire. And when now, I'll just add Empty the Warrens, I guess, to the... Balance is kind of interesting. I mean, I love Demonic Tutor. Some people say Demonic Tutor is overrated. I, I don't know. It's the best card in your deck. I think it's either Demonic Tutor or Balance. Like, being able to Demonic Tutor, you get a Palace Jailer or Black Lotus Treachery. Like, there's so many good cards that you can get in certain situations. 
I'm going to take the Demonic Tutor. It's just because I'm a bigger fan of Demonic Tutor. And I don't feel like we're in balanced territory yet. We don't have any Signets or Talismans. We have like two artifact, you know, uh, cards that we would... Oh, well, Demir Signet's a, a spicy little number. And if that Caves of Coilos comes back, I'll be grateful. I'm going to take Demir Signet. We have a good number of four drops here. <coughs> uh, I don't hate an Impulse. Lutri is just a free card, which is kind of funny. What's also funny is that we have basically three instants or sorceries. Demonic Tutor, Painful Truths, and Vindicate. I could see, I think Demonic Tutor was overrated, but everyone is overcorrected and now it's under. I think that's true. Like, it's just it's just two mana best card in your deck. Like, there's been so many times I also just get a land with Demonic Tutor, which is just fine. Like, use it as an expedition map. I'm very tempted to just take Lutri here, actually. It's literally just a free card, right? You just put it in the sideboard, and then it's your companion. And then it's just your friend. I love Compulsive Research. I also kind of like Worm Coil, especially with Grimmauld's Lotus. And we kind of need more finishing things. We already have Painful Truths. Ugin also draws us cards. We don't have a ton of card draw here. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take compulsive. I think it's probably better here. It's also another card we can copy with Lutri if we have six mana. Draw six, discard two lands. Fall from favor seems pretty sweet. Hmm, interesting. I would take Damnation, but I'm not really excited about having a double black card. Hengegate Pathway is nice. Hmm. I mean, we have so much removal that I think we can actually maintain the monarchy. Riftwing bounces something, Vindicate, Oblivion Ring, Palace Jailer, Treachery, I'll get rid of things, Angel gets rid of things. I'm going to take Fall. I think I want to be the Monarch as much as possible. Could take a Bayou, but we already have a Savannah to get. I kind of just like Disenchant here. It's not Cabal Ritual. I don't think it's Brimaz. We're not an opposition deck. I'm just going to take the Disenchant. Hmm. Path seems good. I don't think we're Ulamogging. We're definitely not Misha's Workshopping. Although we do have... Solemn and Golos, which is nice. Yeah, we can just take Path. It's a solid, it's a solid card. I don't think we want a second one of these. Hmm. I also don't love Dragon Skull Summit. We have five creatures. <laughs> it's not a ton. We're way more Planeswalkery. Let's take Banishing Light, whatever. The balance came back. Super grateful for that. Uh, nothing in this pack is exciting. We'll just take Dark Ritual, I guess. Oh, man. Yeah, Katie, Katie, right before she went to bed, was like, it's supposed to snow tonight and tomorrow. And I was like, what? Arctic Avenger, what up, my dude? Welcome back. Appreciate you. Um, I'm going to take sneak attack just because you shouldn't, it shouldn't still be here. Um, I think we're taking battlefield forge because now that gives us another way. We can just play thought knots here, which is pretty sweet because now we have like battlefield forge, uh, Yavamaya coast plus like grim monolith. Demir signet. No talismans do. Help us cast it, though. I'm going to check the weather right now. Hold on. It is currently 37 degrees. Oh, my God. There's going to be snow like three days this week. Come on, dude. Actually, we might even be able to splash Hydroid Crassus. We have uh, Lotus, Coast, and Savannah, and Flooded Plain, Flooded Strand. 
this is 23 cards, and I probably want to play Lotus as, uh, as not a land. Wow. So apparently it's supposed to snow at 11 to 1. And then it, tomorrow it just rains, I guess. And Thursday and Friday it's snowing. Jesus. This state is so weird, dude. I've never... Each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name. Like, that's just guaranteed, right? Because it's a cube. So, like, I just don't understand this, I guess. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub, buddy. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, my dude. Have I've paid my YouTube dues yet? Probably. Probably. Um, I am tempted to cut Banishing Light. I might like just disenchant, but it's like banishing list is better than disenchant. I get rid of the same thing. Could just play Hydroid Crassus as well. Like I feel like with both Solemn and Golos. Yeah, I kinda like I kinda like uh let's keep the Oblivion Ring, get rid of the banishing light. I'm pretty sure we're playing all of these lands. So. It also, the, like the the painful truths with, with Battlefield Forge and Avamai Coast also make it much easier to hit three colors, but I can't imagine if we have black, we don't also have white and blue. Negative 40? Oh, Jesus. Arctic Avenger, buddy. That's insane. All right, so what is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine white. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven blue. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I do, I do kind of like one forest just because we can get it with Solemn Simulacrum. Do we actually need it though? I don't think we actually even need it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. Yeah, I want to cut that. Like our odds of hitting Yavamai Coast, Savannah, Flooded Strand. Seems high. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it might just be the black one, two, three, four, five. So that's six black for four black cards. And this is three, four, five, six, seven. So it'll be seven, six. I mean, we have double blue for treachery, but Riftwing Cloudskate's fine without. Let's go three. I think that's fine. All right. Hopefully I get to select Lutri as my companion. Just like, I think you just select it. I think it like asks you at the beginning of the game. And I'm just like, yeah, this guy. For sure, dude. Also Path and Balance and, oh, Path and Demonic Tutor are great additions for the Lutri. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's pop that guy out so I know to like. Oh, this is actually great. This is a turn three uh, Thought Knots here. Oh, that was a good draw. Um, I might just want to riffle in Cloudscape here. No. No. We want a Grimal up here. You got it, Figurino. So now we can go Battlefield Forge. And then we have three, four. We can either Demonic Tutor. Man, I've never played Thought Knots here in a cube before. That feels cool. Sun Titan or Restoration Angel? Good gravy. 
I mean, Resto, they can play next turn, which is kind of obnoxious. Sun Titan, they can get back something. Hmm. What can we get with Demonic Tutor is the question. Like, we're going to have four mana next turn. I guess we can get anything we want, really. Yeah, let's get rid of Sun Titan. So we can get whatever we like. Huh. <laughs> the problem is the Mother of Runes. Like all of our removal is Mother of Runesable. So we're going to untap with four mana. It's, been, it's tough decisions. Like, I think balance might be decent here. They have much fewer cards than we do, though. So we're going to go land, balance, and we're going to have three cards. They're going to have... I think balance is actually just the card to get here. That whole series of plays between what to take out of their hand and what to leave, uh, and what to what to get with demonic tutor took like two minutes. Fascinating. I I didn't I didn't mean that. But I bet. So maybe next turn, I think next turn we just go Riffling Cloudscape. Oh, Thought Nets here is great because it can just block anything. Like if, I, I think this is a good trade for us actually. Because not only do they get another card in their hand, but they also, we get rid of our own creatures so they sack everything. Yeah, this is, this is just fine. Yeah, that's that's just totally great. Um, so next time we can play a land, we can play Tezzeret, we can make an Ethereum. Interesting. Okay, this is they're just they're just dumping all the yeah, might as well. They're trying to figure out if they crack the clue or they pump this guy. And the answer is, I guess, pump that guy. Huh. Second white's kind of hurting not having. This is rough because, like, we have to discard two cards. Whereas if we play Tezzeret, we can make an Ethereum go to six. Yeah, let's do that. Healing Sol should be white. The cast of a spell may never play magic again. Huh. That does. Is that stronger? Is that as strong as Ancestral? I think if the green one's green to put a creature from your hand on the battlefield, I think that's actually way stronger than Ancestral. Like, the potential for turn one Emrakuls is just not... Uh... I think it's I think it's a little... I think it's a little better than... Uh... Yeah, Tezzeret lives, too. This is great. One, two, three, four, five... So we have six mana. So we can actually Gideon. Oh, they're going to strip mine my 
Yeah, sure. That's God, this is getting obnoxious. I mean, every turn they don't actually play Restoration Angel here is good because they're just using their One, two, three, four, five. I'd like to hit a land. Well, that is interesting because we can vindicate something. I mean, we're getting rid of all their creatures. We have to discard two cards, so we might as well vindicate, right? <clears throat> And they're also getting rid of land, which is good. Yeah, sure. What the hell? We do have to discard one card. I think it's going to be Treachery. <laughs> Gideon is easier to cast. We can cast Gideon next turn. Choose a card in your hand. Click Done to discard the rest. Sure. I feel like that worked out well. Oh, and this guy also comes down, so like putting them... Oh, wow, that's really good. So not only do we get to play this and put them two lands away from casting... Uh... I feel like we're way ahead right now. Balance is a hell of a card, guys. Don't be sleeping on it. Uh, sure. So now one of the cards in their hand is a resto. I mean, I think we're just getting Lutri here. I can't cast Angel or Crassus. So I might as well draw a card here. Do they have another flash? Are they just blocking? Sure. I mean, I think if Bolt was, you may uh, deal three damage divided any way you choose. Like, I think we're getting closer. Um, I think we're just going to untap this and then next turn cast a big ass Crassus. You got it. Okay, play that. Play that. Let's go green, blue. Crossisi. Crossisi. Playing around mana tithe like you do. Disenchant, Banishing Light. None of these cards are really great against them. And I actually don't hate Revoker against Mother of Runes. I could see bringing that in. Tezzeret actually did some work there. It was really good mana fixing. Killed a Restoration Angel. 
Very cutting. I can see cutting treachery. I gotta sneeze. What if it had flashbacks? So the thing is, I wouldn't want to give any of the original ancestral cycle like mechanics. Cause I think then at that point, like you're changing them too fundamentally. Cause like, you'd be like, well, what was the lightning bolt? And you should add storm to it. Like, all right, well then it's, yeah, it's real strong then. But I think you want to naturally make the card with like just magics, just like abilities that the card can utilize. What is going on here? I feel like I, okay. I think we're good. Okay, Jitte is better than Batter Skull. They're like, oh, do I put my wasteland slash strip mine here? Or do I just try to advance my board? I guess I'll just play a planes. Wow, really? Brutal. Brutale. Give me my tutu, the spirit. It's an illusion. Oh, it's, I'm so sorry. Give it flying. Yeah, so I think if it was uh, deal three damage uh, to, to any target with flying, I think that's probably where, where we'd be getting overpowered. God, you gonna get that scrub land again? An island? <laughs> Joke's on you, dummy. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm just going to keep answering the things they have on board. Like, we know they have Jitte, so they're probably going to equip Jitte next turn and make Kithian indestructible. But right now, we can actually just block this when they attack with Jitte. So the Jitte gets counters, but then they have no creatures on board. And they're spending two mana to equip, so... You know. And then we can play Solemn or Angel. Well, not or. I guess we do have to wait... But you, you get it. Hmm. Didn't even equip, so I'm pretty sure they're just going to get a resto. And then they're going to equip Jitte to it. And then we are presumably going to have to Angel of Sanctions it. Let's get a second blue source, I guess. Not going to attack because Restoration Angel in your hand. Oh, look, they had it. Let's see if you get another. Oh, they chose not to blink. I guess because they just don't have another. Yep, this is this is what you do. To totally fine. Oh, they didn't do anything, huh? All right. All right, then. I'm not going to play around Mana Tithe because we haven't seen it yet. And also, like, I'd want to play Colony. We can just embalm this next turn if they do happen to have Mana Tithe. Swords it. Sure. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yep, I'd like to use that ability. Oh, well, now I have no incentive not to attack, so that's... Okay, that was that was an incentive not to attack. They got to kill my creature with one, one counter instead of both. So that's not great. I think Lightning Bolt with a cantrip is getting much closer to Ancestral Recall. You're trading two cards for the ability to uh, deal three. Okay, well, that's not really. Yeah, this is rough. This is what's known as a rough shape. 
my dude. Celestial Colony, them having three counters on Jinte is pretty bad. Like, because now our colony is just a 1-1. One, one. Not in good conscience, justify a block here. I mean, they give they give Celestial Colony negative one, negative one, and then uh, and then they win that trade. So we're looking for like an Oblivion Ring just to get rid of this Jitte. Jitte is clearly <laughs> working us over, like Jitte does. Ooh, balance. It's not bad, actually. Land. Lotus. Huh. Well... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's crack this. Get a Savannah. One, two, three, four, five. Play Rifty Boy. Let's bounce your Jitte. Sure. Huh. I think this is probably incorrect. It's three, four, five, six. Yeah, if they kill this, yeah. So now I think we have to actually balance here. That was very good. Yeah, this is rough. Two, three, four, five. Vanishing light and is there a way we can get could have gotten rid of our own solemn? I don't think so. I think we should have played balance first. I don't know, man. That guy doesn't do it. All right. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, that was probably... I, I probably messed up that turn a good deal. Maybe treachery is... Actually, maybe I just want disenchant or actually the extra banishing light. What did we see for disenchant? We saw Umza was Jitte and... Pretty sure there was something else. We did see banishing light. Sure. Um, yeah, I'll keep this in. Turn to Rifty Boy. <clears throat> Into turn three, Fall. Thank you. Oh my god, Yokum Yokes McOaks. Oh my god, buddy. Oh my god. So good to see you, my dude. That's insane. 85 points. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, I mean, we knew that was coming. We just had no option other than to play our blue source because obviously we need to. Nope. I hit I hit swamp. Okay, thank God. Oh, goodness gracious, that was scary. Dust <laughs> Oh, Yoko, I love you, buddy. Dusts of shoulder pads. Is that your is that your equipment? Yokum equips dust of shoulder pads. Oh, that was a good draw. 
Let's go get a basic island. Put this guy in the tank. If they play a card on turn two, we can just fall from favorite. That seems really good. Because then they have no other creatures. Oh boy, this is going to be bananas. Yoko, I miss you, buddy. I'm really glad that you and Michael play Commander regularly. Well, I guess they had it. I guess the one game they have it is the one, like, the game we don't play around it. Seems good. Dust of Shoulder Pads lets you give a creature negative three, negative zero until end of turn. Like you do. No oh, good. Look at these. Look at these jabronis. Uh, I think we're just casting, let's do this, Grimmy Boy, add three, Sun Titan and Hero of Bladehold, <laughs> well, that's a thing, all right, Hero of Bladehold's pretty scary, let's get rid of that. <sighs> Hope to deal with Sun Titan when the time comes. Yeah, I've been playing Wimp Computer games pretty much every weekend since the pandemic. I'm glad. Yeah, I, I. It's funny because I feel like people are playing more Commander now than they may have been doing in, in pre-pandemic times because like now they can do it like whenever. Hey, it's Saturday at 9 p.m. We can't get together, but I can fire up the webcam. You know, it's a really kind of interesting prospect. Um. No, I'm not blocking here. I'll take four if you want to pump this guy. It's fine by me. Golos is going to help us out. Judging by card prices, I think you're... Yeah, it just feels like it's super convenient. Like, Michael's like, yeah, I'm going to play Commander from, like, noon to four. And it's like, okay, cool, you can do that because... You know, it's... You just you just literally go downstairs or go to your go to your office or you know whatever, and we're gonna bounce this guy because he's the the biggest. Oh, that's interesting. So next time we can actually activate Golos. That's kind of cool. Um, let's just get. We don't. We need a second white. We'll get a battlefield forge here. So we know all three of their cards. We know Sun Titan, Rashad, and Port, and the other one. Next turn we can activate Golos. Oh god. That's pretty good. Although lately his tyrannical roommate has been forcing him to go house hunting on weekends. <laughs> I heard his roommate's terrible. Just the worst. Yeah, we're looking for we're looking for a place right now, and we're we we put in an application on a place on Sunday. And we're hoping that we get approved for it because I think it's oh, damn it. Literally, like that, you literally fucking had to top deck that that turn. Cool, that's insane. And now we're gonna draw a land, so our lotus is gonna do nothing. Okay, a path to exile. I guess that's, I guess that's something. <sighs> it's still frustrating. They had to have exactly manatide for this. They had to have swords for the golos that we can activate this turn. You know, good times. Yep, chump that guy. More like drew your opponent a land. Dang it! How are you so? How are you so right all the time? So you know they have Sun Titan and whatever card they drew. If we path to exile this guy, they get a land for Sun Titan. Hmm. And if we don't, we take nine. All right, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I guess that's that's what we got to do. I guess. Mother of runes, mother of prunes. I don't know how we're winning this game other than drawing like something really good. I mean, that's as good as we're gonna get, I guess. Um. 
boy, that's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana, huh? How about Palace Jailer? That seems good, right? Gets rid of figure. Puts a couple blockers on the board. We do have to worry about Mother of Runes, though, because that's kind of a pain. Does Karn just do a better job? Does Ugin do a better job? What does the best possible job? What do we got? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 mana. So we could make a 5-5. Five, five. I guess we have Thought Knots here. So Mother of Runes, can, we can block Mother of Runes for quite a bit. This is actually tricky. I feel like Palace Jailer is going to help put us in this game better than better than some other things might. The only problem is we do have to crack. I mean, I think this Ugin is still fine. It still kills Mother of Runes or Figure of Destiny, and then it stays on the board. I mean, Karn feels like worse than Palace Jailer. Karn's going to get rid of like one card, probably Figure. I think it is Palace Jailer here. We get rid of, like, Figure of Destiny. They have two attackers. We can block both of them. And then we get to be the Monarch, but... And we still have Path to Exile. Let's get Palace Jailer. This feels... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, Jailer's going to draw us multiple cards, ideally. get rid of this guy don't feel comfortable about attacking here oh, oh, oh see that's going to be helpful and we're going to save our path for the sun titan presumably they're going to uh... only one problem with your strategy your opponent is going to top deck removal well on the bright side getting rid of palace jailer doesn't get their creature back that is the uh, the tricky part of Palace Jailer. And I think a lot of people forget that. They're like, yeah, kill it. But uh, how come I didn't get my guy back? And there's your boy. They get back Wasteland, and we're really not super concerned with it. Mm-hmm. And now we're going to Karn it. I guess we could have Karned it without wasting the path, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good good, good strategy, dum-dum. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Maybe they'll just think we drew it. Um, I kind of really just don't feel like getting in there with this guy. I don't feel like it's beneficial to us, and we're not going to... Like, I think keeping the monarchy is just a stronger play. Joke's on you, Yoakum. I didn't even ramp him. <laughs> uh, okay. So they definitely drew a spell. <laughs> Uh, you're going at car and you're going at my face. I'm actually not sure what they could have drawn here. They can only have one spell. And I think it's more important to get the mentor off the board. I 
But we have more white creatures, so I'm actually going to throw the palace jailer away. So if we draw another white creature, we can they can't just give it like pro white. If we block the other way, it actually it gives like if they didn't draw a spell, oh see, we might have just wanted to block the other way. No, no, it doesn't matter because then they give pro white, right? So that doesn't really Yeah. That's fine. Sure. And it's two or less, right? So you can't get anything back, right? Okay, that was fascinating. Oh, that's a good draw. Jeez. <laughs> Making colorless creatures against... Oh, wow, that's really good. Why aren't they ever using the Rashad import? I don't understand. Like, you could easily just tap my island here. I want to make them, I want to make them exile a card, but destroy permanent that's one or more colors. We can literally just kill this, then kill this. And I think that puts us in a pretty good position, to be quite honest. We're at four. I, don't, I think I want to just keep our things alive. Compulsive research, that's nice because now I can just hold this this planes. Yep, still not getting in there. Oh yeah, I forgot we had the monarchy still. Jeez, this is like Yep, that's pretty good. I wonder if they thought Luris was three or less, and they're like either one and I can just replay the one who dies. Because that was really kind of weird to just throw one of those guys away. But yeah, like you can see, this is the white card. So if we had this and Palace Jailer in play, they can give pro white if we double blocked. And then they just wouldn't take any damage. Whereas now we have two different color threats against Mother of Ruins. But we win the match anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yoakum, I'm really glad you said hey. I, I really, it's always good to see you, buddy. I do miss you guys. Give the family my love. I hope you guys are doing great. I will definitely say hi to Katie and Mike for you. Have a good night, bud. Man, love seeing Yoakum. Always a good time. Yoakum is, is definitely one of the best people I've met through this game. See, this is a good hand. Man, we're playing all these games. They don't even need loot tree, but it's just nice to have. Holy schmoly, how does J-Bro get so many trophies? Holy schmoly, how does J-Bro get the trophies? He does play a lot. So I only play, I only do drafts like when I'm streaming. If I'm not streaming, I'm not playing Magic Online or Arena. There's no point. I would just fire up the stream if I was doing that. But Jabro, I think, just plays to play. Like, he, I think he, he works from home a lot, and he's watching the kids a lot. So I think he's just in a draft all day. That's how I understood it. Man, Hunter's making big grumbles. Snap keep this, this juicy boy. Oh, I see. Can we top like a Lotus? That would be cool. That would be the illest. Oh, this is a hell of a start. I'm going to be like, you know, creeping tarpit goo. One, two, three, four. You got five mana, huh? I'm going to always yield to this. I don't really care. I mean, I care if you lose. I want you to lose the flip, but damn it, they won the flip. It's not going well, guys. 
he probably does draft during Zoom meetings. I mean, I'm sure he has a draft going. He probably just plays his rounds in between, you know? And this, oh, ho, 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 what does that do? That gives us six mana, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang, is that good enough? I don't know, man. We could also just play Angel of Sanctions here and get rid of their Tezzeret, which I don't think is terrible. Let's do that. It's got to be better than Golos, right? And this is where Super Fritz is like, nothing is better than Golos. I mean, next turn we can still go Grim Model. If the turn after that, we can still play Karn if we hit a land, so. It's a lot of mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's still infinite mana. Oh, not my tar pit. Oh, no. Well, we're not blocking this guy. Oh, that's a real good hit. I mean, unfortunately, they are going to tap down our Grim Monolith, but that's life, man. Life is tapping down your opponent's Grim Monolith. Losing those flips, too. Six damage a turn. They deal six, we go to 14. We deal six, they go to eight. Don't tap me, Monolith. Oh, they tapped the Angel. I guess they're going to get rid of the Monolith some other way. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh, they're going to bounce it. Why not bounce the Angel? That seems way worse than what I suggested. <sighs> -da 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 -da. I'm loving it. One, two, Grimmy Money, Grim Money. Doot, doot, I'm the Monarch, bro. I don't see them actually becoming the Monarch anytime soon either, so. That's kind of cool. What if they just died of their own mana crypt? Took three. We're doing it. Well, I am glad at least you're learning. <laughs> You've learning. You've learning. I don't know what you have, but you have learning. I'm tempted to actually attack with a creeping tar pit and just put the pressure on. They have two cards. I don't know if that's good enough. We played a planes. Let's just attack Teferi. See if they have anything here. Oh, Oof. that's a gem. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh, okay, that's fine. Hardcast Force of Will is definitely not the worst they could have had. I was worried I was like Sublime Epiphany, copy their own Frost Titan, bounce my Angel of Sanctions, draw a card, counter my spell. I was worried about the blowouts. You know what I'm saying? The blowouts. The blouts, if you will. Let's attempt to put them dead. And we should have not played our land if this was our plan, but we didn't know. Oh yeah, there are two. So they're, they're basically... <laughs> they died to their own, their own mana crypt. They died as they lived. Y utilizing Mana Crypt. Got him. Our opponent was all like... <laughs> I'm in danger! And they were in danger. Bringing in the Disenchant here again. That seems good. Uh, I don't think balance is going to be as good here. <laughs> I'm in danger. Do 
you guys remember the time? This hand is weird. I'll keep it. <laughs> what the hell? They went to six? Shoot. We could hit Black Lotus. We could hit turn one creeping tar pit. We can do it. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay. It's weird. Strong side, left side, strong side. God, I love Rumble of the Titans. Dude, and I always get choked up at the end. No spoilers though, because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. If you guys haven't seen 20 year old Rumble of the Titans. And then the main character went on to play Opie in Sons of Anarchy and I was kind of blown away. I was like, that's the same dude? So next time we can either vindicate, draw through painful truths, and then we can follow it up with Gidgen. My friend Andrew, Andrew Cram, uh, we did the Franz podcast for a brief time. He calls him Gidgen. <laughs> okay, that's totally fine. Yeah, do that. Do that. I like that. I think I'm just blowing up Teferi here. Like, they didn't get value out of it, which is all we really want. Like, you 100% draw a card there. I have no pressure on you. And, like, if I kill it, you're just not getting anything out of it. Ryan Gosling was in that movie. Yeah. He played California. <laughs> um, so we're definitely getting a blue at this. And, it, and I'm an idiot. That's, I guess we're going to play Grim Monolith now. Dang it. It's a non-basic land, you stupid little idiot. Archon of Amiria, you son of a biscuit. What a little turd. Oh, well, we still get to play Ugin and kill this guy. Nah, it's not that exciting, actually. Not as long as your opponent's controlling the battlefield tap. What if they just counter it? Oh, that'd be so sad, right? If I have to beg and plead for your sympathies, I don't mind. Oh, Ethan Suppley looks insane. I'm going to look up Ethan Suppley for you guys. He was also, you guys might remember from Clerks. Uh, Ethan Suppley looks fucking insane right now. He is unrecognizable. This is Ethan Suppley back in the day. This is Ethan Suppley now. And you can tell, like, you can tell he's a guy that lost a lot of weight, but good Lord, did he, did he do a good job of it? Like, this is, if, if this was how I knew Ethan Suppley, and then I saw this dude at a party, I would be like, do I know you? I wouldn't fucking be able to know. This is not the same person. I would not be able to tell that was the same human being. Hmm. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have one blue, which is a problem. And we can only cast one spell, which is not a problem. Two separate problems. I'm going to need some more proof. I don't know if that's him, man. I feel like you're making it up. Blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can only play one thing. We can play Gideon and Suspend. No, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Eugenus. And then we're going to suspend this guy. I can't suspend this? What? This is, what? Why can't I suspend it? Like suspend doesn't count for spells, right? Like if I if I storm off, it's not going to count the fucking cards I've suspended that turn. 
What? That's not correct, right? Match two, three, eight, nine, one, nine, zero, three, zero. Time eleven twenty four p. Tried to suspend a dude, couldn't do it because of Archon of Amiria. That seems completely wrong. You're not casting the spell. And I'm in my main phase. It's not like I'm in my it's not like I'm in my combat phase. Let's go to the next. Yeah, you can't even click that's so weird, dude. Yeah, suspends an ability. I'm not casting it. You can tell because if I have like four lotus blooms in hand and I go suspend, 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 my storm count isn't suddenly at four. Like that's not a real thing. So like there's no friggin' way that that that's how that works. Yeah, make that dude indestructible. Spend three mana on that. Da 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 deal. Okay. Oh, God. These I, I'm not used to playing against Archon of Amiri. See, that was my fault. But that being said, I'm going to kill this idiot. Should have done that first. I'm not smart. Oh, what up, Phil? Good seeing you, my dude. I still feel like we're doing fine, but... That was what's known as a misplay. Tried to suspend a Riftwing Cloud's Gate. I mean, we're always going to block because it not only keeps our Planeswalker alive, but it uh, makes them use three mana, which is just fine. Like, them having no mana in their blue-white deck against us is just totally great. Because counter spells. Yep, that is definitely wrong, but it'll probably disable the entire click event and thus you never get the menu. Yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. Oh, Music Manly, have a good night, buddy. <laughs> ah, <got him. laughs> See if we played this last turn, which would have been correct, then we can play this and play Karn. But we didn't, because we're dum dums. One, two, three, four, five. I and mean, we can still play Rifty Boy, I guess. Two, three, four, five. I don't know, probably. Eh, bounce this guy. What the hell? Getting creatures off the board here is fine because we just have. Uh... We're at eight. <laughs> so I don't really want to be like. Boo, deal be, deal be too bored, daddy. I just sneezed so hard I saw stars. <laughs> Appreciate it, Shanala. I appreciate you, buddy. Oh, good. And Elspeth conquers death. Well, that's a solid card, but we have a Karn. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we could just attack with Creeping Tar Pit and Riftwing, right? What does that do for us? One, two, three, four. Then we have three left over. And that also gets around any kind of shenanigans. I think we're doing that. And I would have loved to play Painful Truths. No, not really. <laughs> would have loved to play uh, Psalm Samuel of Mana. That would have been... That would have been a sweetie boy. Eh, hey, sweetie boy. You know what? I'm kind of really glad they played Worm Coil here because I really could use the life. One, 
two, three, four, five. Give me that. Give me that fat boy. One, two, three, four, five. And I guess we'll make a guy. Give me a white knight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Karnariski. Give me one of the cards in your stupid hand. Give me that Kithian. Give me that Kithian. That's not your Kithian. And it was not his Kithian. I'm just going to get that with this guy. These guys don't have Vigilance, and I really... If they steal this back, I want to be able to block and keep my guys alive, and it's a whole thing. That's the impression that I get. I've been been close to Flicker Wisp. No! I mean, we have a car on board, so that's fine. I don't like it. But it's fine. Do we go to five here? I mean, yes, because we're adults. And in an adult stream. <sighs> Never had to XR things. Gonna get rid of this. Hmm. Well, I'm actually afraid of this guy now. That's interesting. Actually, if we palace jailer the flicker wisp, that's actually good, right? One. Two, three, four. Palace Jailer. Get rid of Flicker Wisp. And then if they attack, we block. And I'm the Monarchio. You guys know the Monarchio, right? Now we're attacking for two. Because I don't think they're going to have two removal spells. That's just my guess. And now it doesn't matter. Plus we can just, oh, we can also just Karn this next turn. That's our, that's our plan. That's our big game. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I mean, we have two Planeswalkers. I bet they thought they were going to get their Flicker Wisp back. That would have been cool. Karn is, uh, Karn is a strong wizard. One, two, three... I think it's... I think I'd rather spend two fewer mana to deal one less damage. That seems like a better deal to me. Could have also attacked with Gideon for eight here. Actually, that's... Could we have just killed them? No, we're one mana shy, right? One, two, three, yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And they would have only went to one anyway, so... Mainsies. One, two, Signet. One, two, three, four. This, this guy. Are we like... We're like way ahead, right? I'm not like... I'm not being silly, right? <laughs> it's like activated, activated. Two planeswalkers, infinite mana, the monarchy, two creature lands, and uh, two other creatures on board. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, it's not. <gasps> MTG Nergo, what up? Actually, are you not bought? Oh, there we go. I feel like that's... We've corrected the wrongs in the world. Okay, what can we do here? Can't exile you. Let's get rid of your last card, I guess. That's cool, right? That seems good. 
<laughs> yeah, there's no reason MD Junior Girl should not be a mod. That's just oh, an Avon Mind Sensor. Well, that's good. Now I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> I, I I I trust you'll use it with with resp I, I I trust you'll use it responsibly. Um, can we just kill them? Probably, right? This guy's big. One, two, three, four, five. No. Lotus first. <laughs> can we just activate this guy? Yeah, activate this this tar pit. <laughs> just like this is it. No, oh, they're I think they're done. They're like, you know what? You you got it. Maybe? Okay. Crack for blue. Get in there with this guy as well. And okay. <laughs> They've seen enough. All right. So if they block biggest, they take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seems good. All right. Can we get the coveted 3-0? One can one can hope. So what's there to do now that there's no early access tomorrow? There's no early access for um I will use it as a badge of my coolness and leave the real modern people who know what's going on. And people who are drunk far less than I am. See, but that is the responsible thing to do. So little do you know that in your relinquishing power, you actually uh you actually showed great, great responsibility. Fortunately for you, the greatest foe for mods, Mike B is present. That's, that's true. I will keep this hand. This seems decent. Dece, as the kids say. Possibly Dece plus. Depends on, depends on our grading scale, I would say. Face the wrath of the mighty monarch. That was my monarch voice. It felt good when I was doing it. What do you guys, is it good? I don't know. Man, Venture Brothers is so good. Can we get, it was pretty close. That's, that's good. That's all I'm asking for. I'm going to start having kids and force them to say things like these so I can say kids say that. Huh. Uh, it's a plan. I just got an email in German and they're literally, they use my name. <laughs> so I don't even know what this is. We, we don't like to say goodbye. So we keep it short. We have noticed that you no longer open our emails and we regret that. I don't even know <laughs> who this is. And I couldn't even read it. I had to literally click on the translate button to be like, uh, translate this for me. Cause I don't understand. I, I don't, sp I don't speak of the language. Apparently it's in Dutch. It looked German, but it's apparently Dutch. And I hope that wasn't, uh, Suspend this guy. So we could play Signet, but we have nothing to do on turn four that we can't do already with a Signet. Or turn on turn three with four mana, rather. So. Sorry, I don't speak Italian. I have three college semesters. Forward it to me. If they tell you where the cat is, I'll be able to tell. <laughs> God, I really hope that's what they're saying. I'm really. If not, I feel like we're in trouble here. So we're going to crack that. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Okay, so let's play old Signore. And then let's play Demonic Tutor. How's that sound? How's that sound? You guys like that? You guys like Demonic Tutor? Is it just Black Lotus? That doesn't really let us do anything, though. We do need a land, interestingly enough. So... 
maybe Tezzeret make a, a cell and then next turn we can kill this. I don't hate that, but I don't know what they're doing either. So could just be painful truths draw three. I actually kind of like that. It's my ancestor recall. <laughs> oh man, I took I took two years of Italian in high school, and I I, I really want to relearn it because I love Italian. But uh, one of the things that she etched into our brain in like the very beginning of the class was where is the bathroom? And where is the bathroom in Italian is posso andare al bagno. And it's so funny that I remember that exact phrase because it's it's kind of silly, you know? So, oh man. But yeah, I'll never... I'll probably never forget it. Are oh, you gonna counter my painful truths? <sighs> oh my god. Okie dokie. And I still take three, don't I? Yeah, that was amazing. Cool game. Wow. <laughs> get a get a painful truths of the demonic tutor. Take three, give your opponent three treasures, draw nothing. Jesus. Three, four, five, six, seven, go to six. Okie dokie. Well, we've had better days. How about a white, oh, this guy, does this guy come down? So you had a bad day. Tell me don't mind. Bounce this idiot. Give me my Vindicate. Give me a land, too. White land. Oh, it was a white land. Get rid of that. Ooh. All right, that's a recovery. And now we have Path for the Hall Reacher. We're doing it. We're living the dream. Kind of, maybe. I don't know. I did an Italian girl in London for nine months and she taught me all the best swear words. Nobody can swear Shut like an Italian. My money. Okay. Y'all ever crushed it before wild? What does that even mean, Carwit? She just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. Okay. Did you learn not using ketchup as sauce with spaghetti? No, believe it or not. In, uh, in classes that teach you foreign languages, they actually teach you foreign languages and not uh, culinary, you know, specifics. There was supposed to be a comma before wild. Oh, that does make sense. See, and as someone who has an English degree and who's edited content for 70 years, uh, that's why language is important. We sing in some men at work? No, I would never do that. Uh, that's a song I wrote. That's an original song that I that I wrote. So it's kind of it's it's kind of an insulting that you would uh, assume that I was singing someone else's song, I guess. I don't know Kerwit, but I want to. Oh, that's interesting. I don't care about it, but it's interesting. Can I hope you don't have a counter spell here? That'd be cool. Oh, you don't. How are we recovering this well? This is wild. I mean, they have two cards. We have three cards. Okay. Sure. I don't know if I need it. A woodland. A woodland sign. Oh, God. Oh, God. Once they tap that mana vault. Fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They have fourteen mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay. Okay. The old Golos activate in the same turn. Okay. All right. Well, it's a good one. That is a good one. How about three lands? Let's let's see the whiffs. What are they, exile them? Yeah, all right, so they're going to be in this pile. I'm ready. Champion Mystic Confluence Leovold.
What if they bounce both our guys and we balance? Oh, that could be good. Okay. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Huh. And then we get to keep both the guys. Huh. But we got to discard a lot of things. I guess we can I guess we can play a bunch of things too, so. Huh. We can suspend, cast, balance. They what they didn't what? Wait, why not bounce my guys? Oh, I guess because we just get to eat more things? I don't know. That's weird. I don't actually know what's correct there, to be quite honest. Oh, huh, that's got to be decent, right? Oh, that's got to be decent. Doesn't untap. <sighs> like, I feel like we have to steal this guy. Ugh, God. take my money i'm going to get some candy one i'm going to get some candy buck i appreciate it sing the lsv songs what does that even mean if we steal this they draw a card if we steal this we teach them to fish they have two cards that i don't want them to have on the board and i don't know how to i don't really know how to deal with that i'll be honest I'm pretty sure Golos is 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 better. <laughs> uh god. Yep, draw your card. Man, Hullbreacher and Leovold. God, you have no chill. Untap. This also means we actually can't um draw cards from being the monarch which is unfortunate we can attack them for five put them to 11 is that terrible who knows i don't know what's terrible anymore i think i just want to win the game all right Shit. Man, being the monarch. It's a tough job. No, I don't think Luis sings the same three songs. Luis does this thing where he he hums the same tune very frequently. And someone mentioned in the YouTube comments that it was actually the uh, the tune from like his daughter's toothbrush. I guess someone asked him and that was the sound. But like he hums that 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 singular tune like a bunch of times during during like videos and, and streams and stuff. And I was just like, what is that one tune, man? Okay, let's get rid of this guy. This guy's trample. That's cool. I don't really want to put this guy in the graveyard. But I also don't want to die, so I guess, you know, that seems more important. They do get to be the monarch. Hmm. What do you take here? Dude, like every time someone plays Fleet Wheel Cruiser against us, I'm just like, I just kind of laugh. But then it does, it does hit us. It just hits different, you know? <laughs> yeah, because of the trample. Yeah, I had a feeling they'd take that. It doesn't stop this because it's going to be a, an artifact on their turn, but... Oh god, they're so gonna make a construct. Sure. Sure. It's not looking good. Not oh boy, I can't even cast I guess I could cast that with Grim Monolith. What does that do though? Nobody knows. 
Because next time they just make another guy. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, it's funny. If we were able to play this first, Grimala is free. But that's not how that works. Huh. Oh, we're at one. That's pretty good. It's not, it's not good. You let your car and die. I mean, they know they have. You know, I think this game's over. <laughs> I think. I think. I think when they golos into Leovold Mystic Confluence, like it was that was probably the end of the line. Oh, you're just gonna let your car and go. Fascinating. Okay. Well, doesn't have trample. Doesn't matter. Let's go to the next game. All right. We've also we only drew like four lands that game too. So you know. kind of want other Vanishing Light. They have a ton of cards that I care about. Also Disenchant. Jeez. Probably take out Crassus. <coughs> yeah, that's fine. 41 it is. 41 it is. All right. I mean, we have the uh, both double white for Palace Jailer and also colorless mana for Thought Not Seer. So. Plus, we naturally have four colors here. So Golas is close. I mean, this is, Sand has a lot of things that we like. Well, it's getting better. So now we just get a red. We just got to be careful about drawing cards because... You know, Hall Breacher's a cool dude. We have three drop. I guess we can put Lutri in our hand if we have nothing better to do. Which is not exciting, but... Huh. I'm actually going to put Lutri in our hand. We don't really need anything to draw. Like, next turn we can play Thought Knots here, or Palace Jailer, depending on what they do. And Lutri with Demonic Tutor is just better. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, we're just going to Palace Jailer that guy. Or we can Thought Knots here. Well, I think we Thought Knots here the following turn because we want to take something like Golos and they're not going to have four mana next turn. Actually, they might. So maybe we do Thought Knots here. Two lands, yeah, so they're definitely playing a fourth land. Or a third land, rather. A fourth mana source. Put it that way. Uh, one, two, three, four. Ya yeah, boy. Oh, Mystic Confluence, Karn, Mere Battlesphere, and Grave... Wow, that's a good hand. Holy bajolies. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, we can path the Grave Titan. We can attack the Karn pretty easily. Yeah, I think we're just taking Mystic Confluence here. I mean, that definitely seems like the card that really gives us the most... It's just a, it's just a pain in the ass card is basically what I'm getting at here. One more land and we can go Lutri into Demonic Tutor for two cards. Yep. They can play Karn this turn. Make it 2-2. Two, two. Uh, okay. uh, you can have a swamp. Cryptic Command 2, huh? Ambitious. 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 
I like that. One, two, three, four. Palace Jailer. Let's get rid of Champion. Monarch it up, and we're going to hit this guy. Okay. Boy, this game is <laughs> something else. So we're gonna, they're going to play the Swamp we gave them. Yep. Oh, okay. Are you battle steering here? Grave tightening. Sure. So we know you have mirror battles here. Actually, this Karn is gone, isn't it? Okay. So now we know they have cryptic command in hand as well, I assume. Does it not show me or tell me that it was cryptic command? That's weird. I do like a creeping tar pit, and I also like casting a Golos here, especially because we know. Huh. Yep. Okay. There's no way around that. Three, four, five. Yes, let's get a red source. We'll get a battlefield forge, play creeping tar pit. All right, and now we are golosed up. Although they are going to become the monarch. And we know they have battle sphere and cryptic command. I don't know if you guys knew this, but cryptic command is a hell of a card. Interesting. Why not just attack with both your guys? I mean, you lose one guy, but like... Okay, well, I guess you do get the champion of wits back, which is not nothing. I did, in fact, know that Cryptic Command is one hell of a card. Yeah, I'm, I'm not... I'm not kidding. Oh, so they get to keep Cryptic Command up. So we got black, green, blue, red. Sure. Green, red, black, white, blue. Whatever. We're Golosin. Okay. Let's cast the Psalm Simulacrum. <laughs> this is a good hit. Yeah, sure, let's get a land. Uh, what do we got? One black, two black, red, black, blue, black. Get that guy. Uh, let's cast the Angel of Sanctions. One, two, three, four, five. Get rid of a zombie. So long, zombie. Like, now is the time. I'm sure they're going to tap my team. So I can't become the monarch again. But, I mean, this is still pretty good. Mm 
Oh, you're just bouncing Golos. Fascinating. So Cryptic Command is gone. We know they have mere battle spell, oh, so we're just going to be the Monarch again. Sure. I don't know why you kept the zombie around. Is that better than being the Monarch? I don't mean no, no. Yeah, I mean, this is fine. Like, you have a million cards in hand. The man is the bottleneck at this point. So, go up to eight, go, to go down to six. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. I mean, it's very clear we're not balancing at any point here. Sure. Good old Fleety. I mean, this is a fine trade. We get to embalm this one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have four mana left over. So we can actually play Gideon and Angel of Sanctions here. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. We can't riff. Oh, we can play Riffling and Gideon. I like that actually. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, Gijin. Make a two, two. Let's draw a card from this guy, I guess. Oh, they're just going to chump block. Not sure I understand what's going on. You're a 14. Why chump block there? What's your what's your big... Oh, they just lose the game. Okay. I mean, they had Battlesphere and two other cards, and our, our board and, and hand is looking pretty pretty delicious. So, God, they have Mystic Confluence and Cryptic Command. Two of my favorite bangers. We have Black Lotus Grim Monolith here. Can we, can we draw these bad boys? Yep, this guy again. Didn't even get to use our Lutri. Um, again, I don't hate this hand. We get to cast Oblivion Ring Path and Thought Knots here. So that's really all you can ask for. And if we hit Lotus, we can just go turn one Thought Knots here, which is <laughs> very reminiscent of of the <laughs> uh, Pro Tour Oath of the Gatewatch, the Eldrazi Winter, so... But otherwise, being able to just play Demir Signet here is nice. Because that is a turn three Thought Knots here. Hmm, fascinating. Hmm, fascinating. Well, 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 hold on, I have the, oh hold dear, the... oh dear, my chat just turned into like mod chat and I don't know how to turn it back. <laughs> 
Oh, goodness. Uh... Okay, hold on. Let me close this. Let me reopen it. Give me one second, guys. Docs chat. Okay, good. I think we're back. Whew, that was scary. Um, yeah, we just have to get rid of this guy. I don't want to... We're just going to oblivion ring it. Like, we didn't see a ton of answers for Oblivion Ring from them. And uh, I don't want to path it because I really don't want to give them more mana. And if we play Thought Knots here, they're going to draw a card. So, you know, none of those are good. Good old Fleety Boy. Your favorite and mine. Let's have five cards in hand. Oh, that was a good hit. Let's see. Show me what you've got. Champion cruise this. Yeah. Demonic tutor gets something. Toxic deluge. This hand is not bad. They can deluge for four and draw a card, which I don't care about. I think I'd rather just exile champion of wits. If they want a demonic tutor here, they can demonic tutor. That's fine. Like, we have Disenchant, Angel of Sanctions, and Path in hand, so I'm not super worried about that. I just don't want them to get the card. Both the card selection of Champion, as well as the uh, ability to crew this Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Top deck Karn would be amazing. You make a guy. Makes a 2-2. Two -two. Crew with Fleet Wheel Cruiser. They're going to they're gonna tutor here, though. And we're going to top deck a Restoration Angel that's not actually in our deck. We're going to blink this, and then we're going to take what they tutored for. got it so what land did they play they played a forest and they played a tutor so forest and tutor we know they have island delusion one other card i don't really want to play angel here because then they just <laughs> i kind of want to kill this though i think we will Um, might as well attack with this guy. We can take five if they want to like play a guy and crew that. That's fine. But seven damage is a good amount. Plus we have, we now have colonnade as well. So now they have Island and Deluge. They're probably deluging for four here. Yeah, that's fine. Seems okay. Hmm. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. Four, five. Play land. Activate this jabroni. And we still get to keep a path in case they want to, like, fleet wheel cruiser us. There's the island. There's the deluge. All these things are gone. Oh, dear. Yeah, so we're actually going to treachery that thing. We're going to let the fleet wheel cruiser attack. We'll path the cruiser.
Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. Steal this fat idiot. Oh, we just win the game. And that's how you 3-0, my dudes. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head on over to twitch.tv slash if you guys want to support the channel that way. I'm going to open this treasure chest for you one time. Got a hex, a Phyrexian Revoker, and five more play points. Really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.